Hi, I'm Meg from Loven Stamps, and I am excited to share another Stamps and Mail Club project with you. This one uses the Painted Bloom stamp set, and for our uh, WOW project this month, you're going to be making a set of note cards and a cute little packaging to go with them. See that awesome ruffled trim piece on there? I'm going to teach you how to turn your tea lace paper doilies into this kind of cute ruffled trim. And these note cards would be cute to use yourself or to give as a package. Everybody needs, you know, hostess gifts in the spring or something like that. Or, I mean, it would be great for Mother's Day if you're working on uh, Mother's Day gifts. So um, let's go ahead and let me give you some tips for using the Painted Bloom stamp set and making this ruffle trim. So we'll pull out our packets here and the kit we want for this project is the one that has the chevron bag and all the note cards in it. The note cards and envelopes are one of my favorite Stampin' Up! products. They um, come pre-scored and cut to the right size and with envelopes ready to go so uh, they're, they're easy to use no matter what you're doing. But you can follow along in your directions if you're making this project at home or you can um, just watch the video. All right, so I'm going to work on the bag first. So I'm going to grab my chevron bag first, and we are going to uh, turn to the side and just fold some down. And there's no like fold measurement, although make sure it's big enough that your cards still fit inside. And then I'm going to grab some of these banner pieces. I have a strip of the glimmer paper, a couple of the tea lace doilies, the larger circle. You'll notice there are two different um, circle sizes here. This one um, is the two and three eighths inch circle to go along with this. Is that right? Two and three eighths? No, it's a two inch circle. <laughs> it's a two inch. And then um, you're going to need from your packet um, this little clip that I wrapped so it didn't get damaged. So. Grab your scissors and let's start cutting. To make the banner end here, I'm going to show you a trick. I'm going to cut up in the center and then cut from each corner to the top of my center cut. That way I get a line that's straight. Then same thing here, I'm going to kind of cut this off here. The rest of this you're going to use on your note card, so keep it handy. And I'm going to do the same little trick here for my banner end on our glimmer paper. I love this glimmer paper. This is the Dazzling Diamonds. Um, if you haven't used this one yet, I highly recommend it. And then we have our little um, slip here. And I might just, I'm just going to cut a corner on that one instead of um, doing everything uh, with a banner end. And then it's a little bit longer than the other pieces, so I'm just going to trim off the top. All right, close it with a clip and tie your thread around the top here and a bow, and then you are ready to go on to the doilies. All right, next step is to make that fantastic um, ruffled doily background. I'll show it to you here. See how we have these awesome medallion ruffles here? So what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna use two of the tea lace doilies, and these are um, just really fun. And I'm gonna go ahead and just fold them in half and cut the centers out. You can cut the center out the other way, but this is just pretty quick. And then I'm going to go ahead and slit one side. So basically I have two long pieces of doily. All right. Now my favorite adhesive for the next part is Fast Fuse. If you don't have this, you can use Snail or you can use Sticky Strip. Um, if you haven't seen my Fast Fuse um, tutorial, you'll want to watch that. It's the berry basket from last month's Stamps in the Mail. This stuff is awesome. It's like Sticky Strip on a roll with none of that red stuff to remove. I love it, but um, I didn't love it at first because I didn't know how to use it. So the brief introduction for this is to remember that you're not going to push hard. You're just going to drag it toward you, and when you want to stop, slide to the side. See that? No stringies, no nothing. Pull it toward you, slide to the side. Pull it towards you, slide to the side. When it first came out, we were taught to use like a check mark and that kind of stuff. That didn't work for me at all. It made me push too hard and it made me pull it off at an angle and it was stringing everywhere. So if you can just remember, slide to the side, then you will be in great shape. And I'm just gonna go around the edge. Holy moly, it's sticky. Um, so that we have this nice sticky border. Okay, the doilies do kind of have a right side to them and a wrong side, so I'm gonna put the um, right side that direction and down so that it shows on the front and then from the back I'm going to go ahead and 
set my doily down. I just tap it once and then I'm going to put a little fold in it and tap it again. And another little fold and tap it again. And if you rip the doily like I just did, eh, whatever, it doesn't matter. Just keep going. I'm getting close to the end here. Alright, now I have gotten to the end, so I don't want to have too much doily overlapping because it'll look odd on the front. So I'm going to go ahead, oh, I can't get my scissors in there, and just trim off that bit. There you go. So now we have our fun doily medallion. So like mine, shh, don't tell anyone, it's a little bit longer here than it is here. So, you know, figure out how to um, make that the least uh, obtrusive. Or sometimes you can kind of um, push it down. So this fast fuse doesn't want to come up, but I just sort of squished it in there. And now, oop, too much. Too little, too much. There we go. So now I can go ahead and stick this down. But we need to do our stamping here. So let me do uh, that. And our stamp set is Painted Petals, which I love. And I'm going to use the um, this image here and this image here with the stems. So let me um, give you a hint on these. If you haven't used Painted Petals yet, just kind of stick it on the black so that it fits. Um, these can look a little bit daunting when you're getting ready to line them up, but let me tell you that it's actually not that tricky. Um, for one, the way they are on the front of the case is the correct orientation. So as you are using um, your um, stamps, go ahead and put your case right next to you so that you can look and see how they're oriented together. The other thing is to grab your catalog and flip to the page with a stamp set on it and then you can there we go helps you know what page look at the samples um, in the catalog so right here you can kind of look and see how these images line up so I'm going to orient my stamps here to the case let's see oh there we go okay so that one's oriented all right and I'm going to set it there. And then this one, these flowers go this way. So this one's oriented. So now I know these two stamps are oriented to match together. And really um, practice a couple times on your scratch paper or whatever works best for you. But I um, think you'll find that these are easier to line up than you think. All right, so on this one, you're going to stamp, on, um, stamp off first. So ink up your stamp and go ahead and stamp once on there and then stamp once here on your project paper. And then, remember, I'm keeping my orientation. I'm going to go ahead and stamp this baby, too. So the way this is going to work is these um, images are going to line up so that, here, we'll zoom way in, and you can kind of look at the sample in the catalog to see, too. This little three right here, this little tri piece, is going to... Um, lead right there in the middle of that image. All right, see how it is right there in the middle between those two flowers? So that gives us our, woo, there we go. That gives us our thing. And if you're a little tiny bit off, like I am, yeah, whatever. People aren't looking that closely, right? <laughs> anyway, then take your greeting here, and I have the thank you. And see, we just stamped right over that little blurb anyway, so now no one will ever see it except for all the people on YouTube. Shh, don't tell anyone. And I'm going to grab a couple of Stampin' Dimensionals, toss those on the back, put this on our medallion here. This goes attached here with, of course, more Stampin' Dimensionals, because why not, right? And that fast fuse is awesome stuff for sticking stuff down. I'm going to go ahead and add this to our banner piece. And then this is what we're going to use to close our bag. And so this is a great gift bag that you can put all of your note cards in. So let's go on to the note cards. We already have our stamps mounted, so they're going to be pretty quick. And you can do these um, any way you want. There are some examples um, that I have for you, and I'll show them to you here. And for each one of these, um, I just did whatever stamp selection I used on the card, I used on our circle. And so this one was done with the same stamps that I just showed you how to line up. You're going to stamp on your circle, layer it on the pieces that are included in your kit. So you'll have all these um, pre-punched scallop circles. And then cut yourself a little bit of the, remember you have three, so if you can kind of 
paste it out one two three cut a little banner end for each one you can use the freehand or you can use the cut method and then go ahead and mount everything with Stampin' Dimensionals because why not and then also because why not you will want to go ahead and stamp your envelopes for each one so this envelope here matches the um, blossom image and this cute little um, tulip -y set here this one matches the tulip -y envelope and so for this one all I did was put one little group of three flowers and same technique you'll want to stamp off when you do the flowers on here and then um, use your greeting full strength so you could make a whole set of thank you cards to use yourself keep them in the cute little packaging or you can go ahead and share them with friend or someplace you know everybody needs a little you know hostess gift to throw in when you're going to somebody's house or whatnot so these would make a really really fun one and who knows maybe you'll get one of them back as a thank you for your cards um, anyway I hope you've enjoyed the Stamps in the Mail Club video tutorial I have several more this month and from previous months if you'd like to get your kit with everything um, that you need you'll have the stamps and the ink are included and then the kit with everything pre-cut and ready to go um, go ahead and check my website send me a request I also have kits from past months available so if you've been cruising my YouTube channel and you think oh I really love that one with the I don't know butterfly basics stamp set um, go ahead and send me a note I may still have some of that particular kit left and if I do I'd be happy to um, get that kit to you instead if you already have the stamps or the ink color they're included in stamps in the mail it is no problem all you have to do is let me know what you would like instead and you can just substitute um, equal value product of your choice uh, for the things that you already have I do that for people all the time so anyway thank you so much for stamping with me by mail and I look forward to our next chance to stamp together